getting familiar with popular mushrooms okay so we will be uh, discussing about few varieties of mushrooms even though there are hundreds of varieties of mushroom we can go on but uh, let's talk about few essential mushrooms in india which is quite popular and farmers are growing all around okay let's understand about them one by one uh, so in order to cultivate mushroom the very first thing which we should uh, which should come in our mind is that availability of three things in order to start a mushroom farm first a cultivator must think that what substrate the mushroom grows on do we have the substrate essential for the variety of mushroom which we are trying to grow then the second question should come in mind about the spawn do i have the spawn which i uh, the variety of mushroom which i need to grow do i have a proper spawn supplier or do i have a setup in which i can grow the spawns but third do we have the environment environment or the farm or the area which is suitable or conductive according to the variety of mushroom because we just can have everything we can have substrate we can have spawn we can have everything but if we don't have the proper environment the proper environment means the proper temperature if we can't have the proper temperature for a mushroom to grow how it will grow it won't grow other mold or contamination may come so let's get familiar with popular mushrooms and i will be only discussing about the temperature which are often needed to grow these mushrooms excuse me first of all let's uh, let's discuss about the button mushroom the agaricus crisporus this is one of the most uh, popular mushroom and often cultivated in large commercial scale in market also we see this button mushroom most of the time why the first reason is that it is not because it is easy to grow it is only because it has been already commercialized since last 50 or 70 years even in our country there has been huge players who have invested crores of rupees and they have set up their mushroom farms uh, and often of the button mushroom and in order to grow this mushroom we must understand if we have natural climate condition or our farm can have all those equipment which can maintain these two kind of temperature first temperature we need to need to understand about is the incubation temperature the temperature the ideal temperature in which the vegetative growth of the mushroom happens in uh, first in our farm the initial 70% of the time is taken in the incubation time only the incubation temperature refers to the temperature ideal ideal suitable temperature when we actually mix our spawn with the substrate and uh, when the mycelium actually covers the substrate completely the thoroughly so the first stage is the incubation and incubation temperature for button mushroom is around 23 to 25 degrees celsius and what about the fruiting temperature the temperature when we need to suddenly shift our farm room temperature to a conductive ideal temperature in which the mushroom goes into little stress and they actually feel that the, their life is around end and just their substrate is over they will not have more food so in order to survive they will need to reproduce themselves and for that they will grow their fruiting bodies and the ideal fruiting temperature for button mushroom is 16 to 18 degrees celsius i will not much discuss about this uh, about the uh, substrate because uh, after the end of today's webinar every one of you will be getting a free ebook in the ebook all the uh, essential data about the the different combinations of the substrate which are essential for button mushroom or any mushroom which we will be discussing here today will be written it's a wide variety of substrate but let me give you a basic example the button mushroom don't grow on any natural substrate they actually need compost and what compost means actually you have to decompose or you will need to ferment a certain thing together like you need to mix straw with water then chicken manure or urea then certain kind of fertilizers and everything is mixed up for several days and only on that fermented thing only this button mushroom will grow they are not quite easy to grow but once you learn or master it you can grow it easily if you have a, a farm which can easily withhold this two kind of temperature 
according to your will second mushroom the oyster mushroom the one of the most fastest growing and uh, the most popular mushroom right now in the world is oyster mushroom why this mushroom is popular first of all this is a user friendly mushroom anybody without any previous experience in mushroom cultivation they can easily start with this mushroom a wide variety of uh, oyster mushrooms are available in different colors so you can just learn one variety of mushroom but you can produce a lot of varieties in them also so you will have more marketing opportunities each and every variety of oyster mushroom do taste different so uh, you can have them uh, with different dishes according to a need and for several temperature like few mushroom like king oyster mushroom they can be grown in winter and some mushroom are often grown in moderate or summer temperature so almost if your area is in an area which is like mm, naturally cold or milder then you don't even need any air conditioner or any high tech farm even in a low cost setup you can grow this mushroom throughout the year and the best part about oyster mushroom is that they can grow on any substrate you can grow them on a uh, log you can use any straw you can use any paper any cardboard or whatever in nature is there present you just you just can mix it with the spawn of the oyster mushroom uh, and just they will grow so best part about is that these oyster mushrooms are easy to grow but you just need to understand different species and varieties which are present in them and choose according to your uh, need on the climate condition there are several more varieties of oyster mushroom but i will discuss a few the oyster mushroom generally uh, we often refer to is of the blue variety uh, the pinhead is blue only mushroom actually don't grow uh, they don't become blue when they actually grow up they actually become little bluish but they become white uh, so pleuritus oyster is the most uh, common and popular variety oyster mushroom we call it and then another variety is then pink oyster mushroom the scientific name is pleuritus gemmor and this variety of mushroom can be grown in moderate high temperature like around 30 degree or 28 degree uh, moreover if it is summer time you should be trying your hands or if you are a new mushroom farmer you should try your hands with pink mushroom why first of all they can swim, they can adapt according to temperature quite easily they can be grown in little bit summer time as well uh, but the best part is that they are the fastest among all these oyster variety other oyster varieties may take around 25 or 30 days but this blue oyster they will fruit in 7 to 12 days yes you can have your mushroom within 7 to 12 days if you are trying this blue oyster mushroom uh, sorry this pink oyster mushroom so uh, they are must try and best thing is that just cook them with some butter and you will know these are just like so delicious it may become your just favorite thing golden oyster mushroom is again one of the fastest growing species they are also quite suitable for moderate to little bit of summer around 26 but not uh, not withstanding anything this is the general temperature range as i said incubation temperature for all the oyster variety of mushroom is around 23 to 30 degree fruiting temperature is around 20 to 30 degree but a exception king oyster mushroom this king oyster mushroom Uh, should not be taken just like any other oyster mushroom yes they can be grown on any variety of substrate including straw yes and casing of king oyster mushroom is not necessary this is just optional and whatever knowledge today i am sharing with you it is not some bookish knowledge which i just read and say it is most of the time practical so uh, it may not always corroborate with any other uh, books or sometime because at several places i have seen it is written that king oyster mushroom cannot be grown on uh, substrate other than wood or anything but i don't know i just grow it every year on my straw and our farmers also grow so what we understand from practical experience that's only we share and that only our farmers are also interested in okay so this king oyster mushroom uh, the fruiting range is 15 to 21 degree also the incubation range is around also around 15 to 21 degree so during winter time even your temperature is around 5 degree 7 degree 10 degree at that time you can try this king oyster mushroom this is a delicious mushroom the shelf life is extremely good they blend with a lot of varieties of food okay this is a sajar kaju variety also known as the grey oyster mushroom uh this this fall in the lentinus category lentinus sajar kaju okay so this is a gray mushroom again this is very delicious it can be grown in moderate or winter temperature 
so white oyster mushroom the complete white oyster mushroom is known as pleuritus florida uh, florida it's a scientific name so this variety of mushroom is suitable for those farmers who are specifically interested in only producing dry oyster mushroom if, because if you want to make dry mushrooms and then your uh, mushroom must be white as much as possible because customers just love the color white because uh, white doesn't reflect dirt it it reflect trust so for some reason white dry mushroom is higher in demand in market uh, so in order to produce consistent good quality dry mushroom several of the farmer only grow this variety of florida oyster mushroom also uh, the biological efficiency of this mushroom is quite good sometime even better than blue oyster mushroom then again another mushroom i will say this is uh, something very lovely variety of mushroom everybody of you should try especially in summer time yes in summer time you should be trying this variety of mushroom and the variety's name is uh, pleuritus flavellitus okay flavellitus this variety of mushroom is excellent for summer time it can withstand up to 30 degree easily and initially the stem are quite thick just like king oyster mushroom but as they grow uh, they will become quite large and beautiful white in color they are extremely delicious and they are they have better life shelf life than other oyster mushrooms as well the best shelf life is with the king mushroom than with this mushroom uh, okay so these are quite thing they are also having good biological efficiency and should be tried in summer time in summer time then again i will uh, just summarize you can try flavolators then you can try florida okay then you can try the best thing will be the pink oyster mushroom very fast you can get them very fast okay so this this was all about the oyster mushrooms let's talk about the inoki mushroom the mushroom of the future the delicious japanese cuisine and right now it's very popular in india it is so popular in india right nowadays a few of the stores are selling it for 40000 50000 rupees per kilogram and the shelf life of this mushroom is also quite good first thing is that we in, in india are only uh, getting it from china only very few cultivators are present in india even though this mushroom is actually quite easy to grow we do have our spawn whatever variety of mushroom species i am talking about we do have our spawn sometimes they are available sometimes maybe it's out of stock but we try all the varieties of mushroom and this inoki mushroom is actually quite easy to grow i have been trying to grow it in our fridge every time it gets successful uh, and it can be grown in simple sawdust in winter time our spawn just start uh, producing this mushroom whenever we make spawn and if we, if the winter is is so harsh uh, all of a sudden we say our spawn is full of this mushroom so this mushroom is quite easy to grow uh, and also this mushroom is known as noodle mushroom needle mushroom winter mushroom okay this lamolina velupitus mushroom is quite good in taste delicious it can be exported to far away places they are often grown in jars and cultivated or harvested from there so quite easy you can grow several uh, oyster uh, several inoki mushroom in just one room and have profitable cultivation harvest every time incubation temperature is around 21 to 24 degree and the fruiting temperature as i said this is a, a winter mushroom so it will grow in only 10 to 16 degree celsius but that's not only one thing it can also grow in 0 degree celsius yes it can grow in 5 degree celsius so this range is just then average ideal condition but they can withstand quite harsh cold so if you belong to hilly areas or places where it is very harsh cold and you need a variety of mushroom which is quite easy to grow then you can definitely uh, try this uh, inoki mushroom they can be easily grown in bottles or bags or jars in winter time maitake mushroom one of the most uh, rising star we can say on an average we are getting uh, our uh, stock out of uh, spawn stock is getting out of stock for this variety of mushroom in india right now this is quite popular because uh, it's henna wood actually these have quite umami taste uh, it's quite tasty and also you can just google it i will not go into detail of the nutritional benefit but just google the benefits of maitake mushroom you will know uh, this is amazing and once you start uh, eating this mushroom you will become natural lover of this and 
you will always want to have it more and more definitely then you will try to cultivate also this mushroom has good self life you can cultivate it on uh, hardwood several varieties of hardwood can be used the sawdust can be used the incubation temperature is around 21 to 24 degree and the fruiting temperature is around 10 to 16 degrees celsius so you can grow your maitake mushroom also known as the uh, the grifola mushroom the grifola frondosa this mushroom is very popular in japan or korean but right now in india also this mushroom is quite popular the lion's mane mushrooms heresia marina sees these mushrooms are just the ultimate delicacy and quite little difficult to master growing this in initial phase because uh, you just never know uh, what's right for this mushroom because often uh, what uh, the people do is that they don't sterilize them properly or they don't maintain consistent humidity but once you master uh, once you know the trick how to grow this mushroom then you will just become rich because this mushroom has ultimate market demand uh, you can just uh, type in amazon or any google web or any website just a lion's mane you can see the capsule the extract and everything in india also are uh, either made in usa or made in china so why not grow this var variety of mushroom you can see the uh, incubation temperature is quite easy to maintain 21 to 24 degree and the fruiting temperature is also quite easy 18 to 24 degree and the lion's mane mushroom are actually uh, even they may look soft and fluffy, but they are uh, they can actually withstand quite harsh environment and weather as well. Uh, all you need to do is just make these fruiting blocks in perf perfectly. Little bit of difficulties may come for new growers, but once you master growing this mushroom, they are quite easy. Uh, they are not only delicious; their extracts, their oil, their powder, their capsules, everything are in quite high high demand in market. So definitely you should try this mushroom then the ultimate shiitake mushroom these are i can say this is the number one mushroom right now in world uh, the most in demand in all over world most cultivated one of the most researched mushroom uh, the average temperature is around 21 to 27 degree for the incubation and then the fruiting temperature you can grow this mushroom at around 16 to 18 degrees celsius but whatever data i am giving you it is just for certain strain which we are trying but there are different different strains for each and every variety of mushroom for example the shiitake mushroom there is also a summer variety which can be grown at 18 to 25 degrees as well so there is no dead end you have to just search for perfect strain according to your weather and if you want to uh, try a mushroom to be grown in natural weather or open space or in a wooden log then this mushroom is the mushroom you should try they can be also used uh, they can be also grown in simple sawdust substrate yeah this mushroom take little bit more time like three months to six months but this mushroom are worth it because this uh, this is very high in demand and it can be stored and preserved for very long time in fact the dry mushroom is better in taste than the fresh mushroom because the dry mushroom is full of texture and umami taste and they become soft and delicious whenever you just dip it in water okay and shiitake mushroom uh, needs no introduction this is one of the most famous mushroom in the world irishi mushroom personally whenever i try to grow any mushroom a certain time i also get fail because i fail because of contamination or other issue but this mushroom is something which i just love to grow first of all i never face any insect attack or any pest and disease attack in this mushroom why they are so bitter no human can try to eat it i had tried eating once but i just had to spit it out it's so harsh so bitter so no, definitely no fly or insect will attack this first of all but the bitter it is it may be but best thing is it is very good for human heart human health woman centric problem blood purification immunity booster and hundreds of things this mushroom is labeled as the mushroom of immortality in china it was restricted for commoners because uh, they used to say only royal can eat it because this actually makes them immortal so you can just understand Several of the cancer treatment, medicine, drugs, and Ayurvedic things are often extracted from this mushroom only. So obviously this mushroom is quite famous. And best part is that they can be also easily grown in hardwood. Also, I have tried growing them in soft wood. They are doing good. And, and the best thing, I am just coming to it. First, you can see the incubation temperature, 21 to 32 degree. 
quite flexible let's see the fruiting temperature yes it is 15 degree to 35 degree this data is not collected from anywhere this is my practical cultivation experience i have grown it in 15 degree winter climate as well and also in harsh 35 degree every time it was good but i can say uh, the production was uh, good at around 30 degree celsius i got best result uh, but this mushroom is something you can just grow throughout the year without investing any air, uh, on any air conditioner or any uh, setup which cost you a lot just uh, and also the average humidity for this mushroom is around 80 percent so you know don't need to even spray much spray uh, your farm every with water every day and they are quite hardy kind of mushroom okay they don't need so much of care and they will grow definitely and i have found it to be very useful and very easier mushroom and uh, in mushroom market demand yeah in medicinal demand it is quite high you can sell them easily uh, their extracts their capsules are quite high in demand medicinal industries the pharmaceutical companies are buying this mushroom so you should try it the cordyceps mushroom yeah definitely this mushroom is in recent trend and very high in demand due, due to the hype uh, in initial phase when this mushroom was new uh, was new it was selling for around 3 lakh to 4 lakh per rupees per kilogram but the original version uh, actually this is the college called is the militaries the original uh, uh, the original college the militaries which were which is actually found in the hills or himalayas they actually sell for 10 lakh 20 lakh 30 lakh rupees per kilogram uh, there are several villagers in nepal bhutan and tibet areas uh, uh, where people just they have no work other than just finding this mushroom they actually are the in caterpillar mushroom you can also call them they grow from a grow from inside a uh, caterpillar which is found in the snow or very winter harsh area but this mushroom is not actually that mushroom this is the scientifically syn uh, synthesized variety of that mushroom uh, but the main thing why the, the, this mushroom is very high in demand is because of the presence of cordycepins this is a component uh, component which is uh, very high in, uh, in demand in the market and the extracts uh, of the cordycepins from this variety of mushroom is sold or used in much in medicinal sector to uh, to get immunity booster or several kind of treatments uh, or alternatives for different varieties of diseases there this mushroom are used or for everyday good living for mood uh, mood swing issues and to sharpen your mind and everything mushroom all varieties of mushroom are good for health but this cordyceps mushroom is actually used uh, as a treatment or as a regular dosage of supplements so yeah this is in good demand and definitely they sell for around 20,000 10,000 50,000 per kilogram and I just don't know how do people afford that but yeah it is true this mushroom is quite expensive but is it so expensive to grow let's see the incubation temperature you need is around 20 to 22 degrees celsius easy to maintain and the fruiting temperature is again not something very difficult 16 to 24 degree but yeah this mushroom uh, cannot grow in harsh temperature they will fry or burn this mushroom so you should try to grow this mushroom only when you have an air conditioned room it, you can even start this mushroom in a small lab kind of setup but you will definitely need all the major equipments like autoclave laminar airflow and everything and but this mushroom is quite easy to grow and i don't think it uh, why it uh, just commands so high price because uh, in order when i compared it with other mushroom production cycle it was uh, quite similar or little bit of maybe uh, higher production cost uh, it commanded but yeah maybe the demand and supply gap is what is promoting the price of this mushroom uh, but yeah this mushroom is something you should try you can try and it can be grown in small jars and bottles and nothing harm if this mushroom is growing and getting sold in such a good price then why not try this mushroom just like any other mushroom this can easily be grown the substrate is just not very simple you need to have your brown rice and supplement it with the, the peptones certain vitamins definitely the book you will get the formula will be there the mushroom the calosai indica the milky mushroom the ultimate uh, we can say this is a savior for the summer time most of the farmers love this variety of mushroom because in harsh summer weather often uh, it becomes quite difficult to cultivate oyster mushrooms and in that time 
uh, this mushroom uh, becomes the savior because you can see the incubation temperature of the milky mushroom is around 25 to 35 degrees Celsius, which is quite good. And if we maintain our farm range, farm temperature range of at this time, the incubation will be completed. And then the fruiting temperature is around 28 to 38 degrees Celsius. And that's again, we can see quite high, 38 degrees Celsius is very high. We can grow this mushroom in summer time. And cultivation process is again, very similar to oyster mushroom. Just we need to add this casing layer around two to three centimeter of casing layer and the composted material needed to be spread above the substrate which can be often be substrate like straw or anything and on this which this milky mushroom grow the best part about milky mushroom is that in summer time also at general room temperature this mushroom will last for three four days easily the shelf life is quite high and if you maintain four degree temperature this mushroom can be and then can be preserved for 10 to 15 days and they will be fine so you can see that they can be exported to even other countries or at far far away area because the shelf life of this mushroom is quite high in summer time it becomes quite difficult to get mushrooms in the market because the popular mushrooms like button mushroom oyster mushroom their production becomes quite low because not everybody can afford to maintain those climates of coldness inside their farm at that time, you can try this uh, milky mushroom and they will be easily getting grown on any substrate you throw them on. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me a bit. The paddy straw mushroom, the vulvaria vulvesi or the straw mushroom, it, it is also called. This is again a summer mushroom. If you are having uh, your farm which is not very high tech and low cost farm setup you are building or you are having then this mushroom is the mushroom you can try uh, they can be grown from 28 to 38 degrees celsius you can see the fruiting temperature range and the incubation temperature is around 30 to 35 degrees celsius so again the best part about this mushroom actually there is a merit and demerit of this mushroom something i like about and something i just don't like about this mushroom First of all, the merit is that this is a very fast, super fast growing species. Just like pink oyster mushroom, this mushroom can be also grown within 7 to 12 days, at max 14 days. So most of the time within 7 to 12 days, you can have this mushroom fruiting. So you can see how fast the mycelium spreads for this mushroom. And it can be easily grown on any paddy straw or even any cotton, cotton mill waste. So several kind of substrate actually can be used for this mushroom. I just don't know why the name is paddy straw. Maybe initially it was only grown on paddy straw, but actually this mushroom can be grown on a wide variety of substrate. And another thing is that this is extremely delicious. Most of the time people refer this mushroom as the one of the most, in fact, the most delicious mushroom in the planet. I just don't know that can be controversial, but yeah, this mushroom is really super delicious. The demerit, what I don't like about this mushroom is the shelf life. Within one to two days, this mushroom will not last. Within one or two days, this mushroom start getting spoiled. So you have to consume or sell this mushroom very fast. Once you harvest them, you have to just sell it. Otherwise, you can make pickle or just um, use brine solution to preserve it. But other than that, naturally, they won't last. And also you cannot store them for more time in your fridge also because they are the summer loving weather they just their mycelium also won't survive in fridge their mycelium also needed to be stored at around 25 degree or more you can see actually the true summer king is the summer mushroom is the paddy straw mushroom because they won't even survive in the winter other mushroom till now i have talked about even if the winter comes it won't die it will just stagnate it will freeze but it won't die it won't uh, nothing will harm it but most of the time if the temperature is too high they will die but the uh, paddy straw mushroom is quite reverse if the temperature is too cold or colder than its range the mycelium starts dying they won't survive 